Given a data element, which is not a vector but is a set of vectors, for example, a sequence consisting of skeletons, it could be a set of points in a high-dimensional space. These points could be assumed in a linear subspace embedded in the high-dimensional space. After removing the insignificant subspace bases, the remained bases tend to be insensitive to small noise. Then, we can use low-dimensional subspaces to represent data. Because subspaces have the characteristics of low dimensionality, resistance to noise and good representability, subspace-based learning is preferred in many applications, including action recognition, dynamic texture classification and video-based face recognition. However, what if there is some disturbances in subspaces? Can classifiers still make the correct prediction? Here is the example of disturbances. First, the subspace would rotate when there is noise in data. Second, unwanted bases will appear when noise components are strengthened. Disturbances will let the classifier make wrong prediction. A smart classifier should be able to recognize the disturbed subspaces. So how to obtain such classifiers? With the DG kernel, the support vector machines can make it. DG kernel is short for disturbance Grassmann kernel. An ordinary classifier can recognize the subspace as long as it has learned it. It may fail when there are disturbances. Thus, we proactively add potential disturbances to training, making the disturbance known to the classifier. We then settle the problem in the natural space of subspace data, the Grassmann manifold. It contains the subspace of the same dimensionality in the same Euclidean space. Subspaces are artificially disturbed on the Grassmann manifold for training. Explicitly adding disturbed subspaces is really time-consuming. Rather, we implicitly add disturbed subspaces to train the classifier. As a result, only a new kernel along with a proper disturbance distribution can make the SVM classifier much smarter. To evaluate the DG kernel, action recognition tasks are executed on different datasets, including general recognition on the card dataset, recognition with appended noise activities on the modified card dataset, and action recognition in low latency on the UCF Connect dataset. <laughs>